Hello everybody, War History Geek here, and welcome back to another item highlight video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the World War II US M17 ammo chest. Um, now this World War II 50 caliber ammo chest was first introduced on March 9th, 1942, to replace the M3 ammo chest and the wooden 50 caliber ammo boxes in order to be more durable and to save on materials. Uh, now this particular one is made out of steel, um, and that was mainly to, to save aluminum for aircraft particularly. Um, so they purposely chose this steel. Um, now they quickly found that this steel didn't hold up all that well, because as you can see it's all flimsy steel riveted together. So as you know, approximately, um, let me take a look at my notes here. Roughly six months after it was introduced, um, it was replaced by the 50 caliber M2 ammo box that we all know and love. Um, now, this one, this model ammo chest, was not designed to be mounted on the side of the machine gun um, like we are mainly familiar with. Uh, but rather, this was to be set on the ground next to the machine gun and fed manually into the gun as you fired it. Uh, now, these were designed to hold two 100-round belts of ammunition with a canvas handle, as you can see on top here, which was another flaw in the design. It didn't necessarily hold up very well to a lot of usage and over time as well, so I'm very fortunate to have that on mine example still. Um... And this chest, as well as every other chest, was marked chest, comma, ammunition, caliber 50, M17, D, oh, sorry, excuse me, D39091. Um, and as you can tell, this example is in heavily used condition. However, I don't really care, to be honest. I'm just happy to have this in my collection. Um, these aren't very common to come by. Uh, you're more likely to come by the M2 version than you are this, um, so I'm very fortunate to have this in my collection. Uh, taking a quick look around it, as I said before, it's just riveted steel plates. So the side here, you can see something was spilled on there. Um, it's just riveted on. On the back here, you can see one long hinge, um, which personally I have a problem with on mine as the pin going through is bent somewhere so the top doesn't open perfectly um going around the side again you can see it's the same it got poked by something at some point um there's nothing particularly special to look at on the bottom so i'm not really going to bother flipping it down so you can take a look at the handle you can see it's two riveted attachment points there and then a riveted canvas handle and as i said before these were not very durable so I'm very fortunate to still have mine. Um, as you can see here, it also has this latch, which also is particularly special to these earlier ammo boxes, as um, the later ones, as you know, have the larger heavy-duty latches. Uh, so this was the end of the small latches on ammunition boxes. And then flipping it open here, as you can tell, it's just an empty aluminum box, as you expected. So, to be quite honest, that's really all I have for this item here. Um, again, just a quick, short video uh, compiling all the information that I have, or at least that I could find, on this particular ammo box. Um, as my previous ones have been, it's um, not a necessarily desirable or rare item, um, as they were used very early in World War II. Um, they never saw much, they never saw a lot of action. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's an interesting piece, to say the least. Um, a very interesting look at how our uh, ammo chests developed, and I felt that it wasn't properly covered online. I had trouble finding a lot of sources uh, that covered it, and in fact, I couldn't find any YouTube videos that covered it. So hopefully, if we have any other 
collectors in the future that are looking for some information on one of these ammo chests, here you go. Um, so if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button. And when you're in that area, hit the subscription button and notification bell. I have plenty of other videos just like this coming in the near future. So make sure to stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.